Hi, this is Frode, and welcome to Actualize Notes TV, where I deliver five great ideas from willpower. Subtitle, Rediscovering the Greatest Human Strength. And that's what the authors are here to help us do. Through experiments, studies and examples, they show us how we can improve our willpower. The book is written by Roy F. Baumeister and John Tierney. Roy is um, uh, they're directing the social psychology department at Florida State University. In addition to that, he's one of the most cited psychologists in the entire world. In addition to having published four over 450 scientific papers. John is uh, the guy who writes the findings science column for the New York Times. Willpower is his third book and his writing has won several awards. If you are looking to improve your willpower, resist more temptations, and follow through on what's most important to you, this book is a book you'll love. Now let's have a preview of the five big ideas. Radishes. We'll go into an experiment that shows uh, that our willpower is finite. New Year's resolutions. Instead of setting many of them at once, we want to set just one and stick to it. Sirens. They will go into a fascinating story about how Odysseus let go of the temptation of going to the sirens. Bright lines. We will have bright lines, know where we step over our boundaries. We don't want to have fuzzy lines. Never say never. When it comes to food, we should never say never. And we'll go into an experiment that shows why. Let's begin with radishes. When uh, imagine that you are put, you and some other students are put into a room where there are cookies, chocolate, and raw radishes. The other group uh, are told that they can eat as many cookies and chocolate as they want. You, however, your group will have to resist the radishes, and in, I mean uh, resist the cookies and instead eat the raw radishes. So the experimenters leave you alone in your room with, um, with the radishes but also the cookies and you are going to solve a puzzle thinking you are being tested on your intellect. But no, the puzzle is insoluble and after a while the experimenters come back after you of course have been really tempted to eat, eat those warm cookies you have gazed longly at them before you reluctantly eat in the radishes. So the experimenters come back and they told you that the group who could eat cookies and chocolate spent about 20 minutes solving the puzzles before they gave up. Your group, however, who had just resisted the radishes, the warm cookies, are in, used instead about 8 minutes before you gave up. And this goes to show that when uh, you resist temptations, you are depleting your willpower store, and your willpower store is finite. Have you ever had uh, the experiments that you have been on a diet and successfully resisted something in the course of a day, but then you binged, binged on food and television shows in the evening? I certainly have, and if uh, it's ever happened to you, your explanation is the radish experiment. Your willpower is finite and it gets drained when you resist something. In the third idea, we'll get into a very good tactic to not let this happen to you. The second big idea is New Year's resolutions. Have you ever set uh, any New Year's resolution for yourself? Deciding that you're going to eat healthier, exercise more, you're going to do a better job at work, and also you're going to keep those nasty comments to yourself when somebody annoys you. Well. At January 1st, you may have been really excited and hyped up, but come February 1, you followed through on none of it. If that's happened to you, you can be sure that it's also happened to me, setting a lo lot of self-improvement goals just to follow through on none of them. A better way to do these resolutions, Roy says, is to focus on one project at a time. If you self -mo set more than one self-improvement goal, you may succeed for a while by drawing on reserves to power through, but that just leaves you more depleted and more prone to serious mistakes later. When uh, my 
experience with this has been that for 28 days right now, I've been successfully resisting the temptation of watching TV alone, because I decided to stop and instead start reading more, so I can make more of these videos and share ideas. So anyway, during those f first 10 to 15 days, it was really hard not to watch any television. But as I got to the day 20 and past that, it became a lot easier. Because when you do a behavior over a long time and repeat it, it will come become more it will come become easier for you. You'll uh, have to spend less willpower to follow through on that behavior again. So my advice is to focus on one self-improvement goal for at least 30 days before you set another one for 30 days. And you can continue to build up, of course, while following through on your previous commitments. Third big idea, sirens. Have you ever heard the story about Odysseus who was sailing with his crew and they had to get past the deadly songs of the sirens that would draw them into them and kill them? Well, if you have, you might know that Odysseus used a form of pre-commitment to defend himself against those sirens. He would land he would lash himself onto the mast and tell the crew that they would not let him free, no matter how much he pleaded and begged, when uh, the sirens would start to sing. His crew used an even more effective way, uh, way of pre-committing to not to follow the sirens. They would plug their ears with beeswax so they wouldn't even hear the sirens. They wouldn't even get tempted. And that's really practical for us if we want to use uh, the radish experiment effectively, knowing that our willpower gets strained. We don't really even use our willpower to resist temptations. So for example, if you're going to eat healthy, you can get rid of all the unhealthy food in your house. This makes it easier for you, because if you are going to eat unhealthy, you have to go to the store. And it's easier to just stay at home and eat healthy. Another tip? Pay in front a considerable sum of money to someone you trust and tell them that they are not going to give it back to you no matter how much you plead and beg until 30 days have passed. And by then, you might have established a new habit. Another way, you can uh, put your jogging shoes at your bed and tell yourself that you're going to just jog every single morning when you see your shoes. Just having this reminder will make it easier for you. So how can you pre-commit, such that you will get past the deadly songs of the sirens, and not even get tempted? The fourth big idea is bright lines. Bright lines? Those uh, are the unquestionable laws that you have set for yourself. For example, I will never drink again, I will never smoke again, and uh, f on the other side, you have fuzzy lines. Your fuzzy lines is when you say that I'm going to sleep more, I'm going to eat healthier, I'm going to do a better job, or um, drink less alcohol. But that's not what we want, because when you have fuzzy lines, it's like you're breathing in toxic gas that you don't notice before you get killed, because you can't smell the gas. But when you have a bright line, it's like you're stepping on a line Mind that li line that makes the, a mind explode on your feet. It's a bit more bright. We're talking unquestionable law of the universe bright. Sacred commandment from God bright. How are you doing on this? Me? I am going to meditate for 20 minutes every single morning when I wake up. It's the first thing I do. I've been successfully doing this for 8 months by now. And my focus, self-control, and... Uh, Patience has just skyrocketed. The, yeah. So, what are your right lines? What do you commit to doing? Make it really clear when future self steps over that line. Last big idea, never say never. So, why do you think it's so difficult with self-denial, telling yourself that you're not going to have any treats? Well, Roy and John have, includes a very funny quote from Mark Twain from his book The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. He says, to promise not to do a thing 
is the shortest way in the world to make a body want to go and do that very thing. And they follow up this with an experiment where uh, researchers wanted to test uh, different kinds of self-denial by uh, using pictures of tasty and appealing foods. One group were told to imagine themselves choosing um, some really good desserts from a dessert cart and uh, having it, eating it. The second group would deny those uh, desserts. They would just flatly deny it. The third group, however, would tell themselves they would have it later, but just not now. Then the experimenters measured how often people were troubled with yearnings for a dessert, and the results are astonishing. The group who had said, not now, but later, performed better and were troubled with less images of um, chocolate cake than the other, both of the other groups. They, uh, they who had uh, imagined themselves having the dessert, and then they who had flatly denied it. And this goes to show that when um, it comes to food, never say never. The reason for that is that when you say that you're going to have something later, but just not now, you give yourself time to enjoy the anticipation of it. When you finally indulge, you might feel less of a need to binge and more uh, and it will be easier for you to eat moderately. Never say never when it comes to food. Bright lines? We want to have bright lines so we know exactly where we step over the line of our commitments. Fuzzy lines? I will eat less. I will eat uh, healthier. I will drink less. Bright line? I will never drink again. I will only eat unhealthy foods every single weekday. Sirens? How can you pre-commit not to hear the deadly songs of the sirens? For example, by not having unhealthy foods in your house. New Year's resolutions. Stick to one resolution for at least 30 days, then you can pick another one for 30 days and another one, while keeping the previous commitments. Radishes. The experiment that showed us our willpower is finite. Let's use it wisely with the other willpower techniques that we have learned. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. I surely did. I'm looking forward to sharing more wisdom with you soon, and I hope that you continue to actualize your potential. Thanks for watching, see ya.